in exchange for either a specific type of reward. And it could be equities, it could be uh, project financing, it could be goods and services. So it really depends on, on the specific campaign. Yeah. So um, I mentioned it already, whether it's rewards, whether it's in a form of debt, or uh, and as men, uh, Raymond mentioned earlier, in a form of equity. Um, and if you compare to traditional funding for SMEs that's available in the past, uh, you can raise funds through your friends and family. There were grants available, uh, leasing or factoring, uh, through banking facilities, money lenders, uh, venture capital, as you get uh, bigger or private equity. And of course, you know, you can go for listing uh, to raise a lot more funds uh, from the public. But uh, obviously with uh, equity crowdfunding, uh, there is now an um, amendment made, made to the Capital Market Services Act uh, for uh, Sindra and Bahad companies or limited liability partnership companies to be uh, to openly solicit investments from the public, which was uh, previously not allowed. And just a little bit of history, um, the, the amendment to the Capital Market Services Act uh, was um, formalized uh, in 2015. And in June 2015, that's when officially uh, the six first operators were approved by the Securities Commission. Uh, and in the following uh, couple of years, uh, then P2P, or peer-to-peer -peer, um, funding uh, was made uh, legitimate in the country yeah so just a little bit of uh, numbers in terms of the funds that has been raised um, for a ECF uh, equity funding and also for P2P so to date um, there's been 89 successful campaigns and uh, across all the uh, ECF platforms uh, we have raised uh, close to 86 million ringgit altogether uh, and a majority of the funds uh, to to be exact, 75% uh, has been for tech-related businesses and the balance for non-tech. And um, almost half of the issuers raised funds below 500,000 ringgit. Okay. And for P2P, uh, it's a lot more. Uh, it has uh, been very aggressive for the peer-to-peer -peer industry. And peer-to-peer uh, -peer, uh, crowdfunding have served uh, close to what 2000 over 2000 um, SMEs and close to 10,000 successful campaigns altogether uh, with a whopping uh, close to 740 million of funds that has been raised to date yeah and these are majority SMEs now the difference the main difference between P2P and ECF is that for P2P um, they can serve not only SMEs or LLPs but also uh, enterprises or partners uh, or smaller uh, social um, what do you call it um, sole proprietorships a majority tend to be retail investors uh, uh, however the sophisticated and angel investors tend to put in a uh, more uh, money in terms of quantum yeah and uh, obviously 95 percent of the investors tend to be uh, domestic investors now this is uh, so i'm just going to zoom more for equity crop funding yeah so for ecf specifically um, only uh, locally incorporated companies so the companies the businesses must be registered with ssm and is only eligible for uh, Sindra and Berhad companies and limited liability partnership companies. The companies must have a proper business plan. Um, so uh, your uh, financial audit uh, books has to be in order. So for companies that's more than a year old, you must have your uh, latest audit report in order and your management accounts uh, in order. Um, and uh, you must have your a three-year business plan uh, with a corresponding financial projections as well. So that uh, includes PNL, your balance sheet, as well as cash flow. Uh, and uh, uh, as of to date, uh, companies can now raise up to 10 million ringgit through equity crowdfunding. And this uh, has been made available only last month. Previously, um, the funds raised through ECF is only a maximum of 5 million. So now it's up to 10 million and there's no annual limit. Um, before this, the annual limit uh, is 3 million ringgit or was 3 million ringgit uh, and the paid up share capital of a company cannot be more than 10 million and the company cannot be a subsidiary of a public listed company. Uh, specific to investment uh, for investing, um, so 
uh, for retail investors, uh, uh, retail investors can only invest up to 5,000 uh, 5, ringgit per company and up to 50,000 a year in total. Uh, for angel investors, up to 500,000 ringgit uh, per company. And for sophisticated investors, there's no limit. So sophisticated investors uh, constitute individuals uh, as well as companies or institutional investors. Okay. Uh, I just want to make a special mention here on uh, my co in uh, my CIF or Malaysia Co Investment Fund. So, this is a fund uh, that uh, was uh, uh, given out uh, in the last two budgets, and this is a 200 million um, sorry, 100 million dollar fund whereby the government co invests with the public. Uh, so, for every four ringgit the public invests, the government will automatically match with a ringgit amount. So, for example, if a company has successfully raised 400,000 ringgit, automatically the government will match with 100,000 ringgit. Uh, and for uh, any uh, campaign, uh, the government will, will invest up to 500,000 ringgit limit, yeah, maximum per, uh, per company. However, um, uh, with a COVID-19 situation, the association actually... Uh, put in a, a proposal to the government and um, we submitted the proposal on the second day of the MCO, actually. So on the 19th of uh, March, uh, we submitted this proposal. Uh, we wanted the government to consider uh, to, uh, to offer a more aggressive ratio. So uh, they approved this on the 3rd of April and this is only available for six months from the 3rd of April up to the 30th of September this year, whereby the ratio of uh, 1 to 4 is now uh, amended to 1 to 2, meaning that for every 2 ringgit the public uh, invests, the government will co-invest, uh, will match with 1 ringgit. Um, so if you have raised, say, 2 million ringgit from the crowd, the government will automatically match with 1 million. And this is only for uh, six months. Uh, and the five, even the 500,000 maximum limit is uh, amended uh, to 1 million per campaign, uh, only up to 30th of September 2020. And specific from Ataplus, we are also offering um, a discount on our application fee uh, from... Uh, 488 to 3,000 ringgit, or only up till 9th of June 2020. So if any of you uh, who are interested uh, to look into equity crowdfunding um, as a fundraising uh, channel, uh, please do uh, make the application um, before the 9th of June. I, I just would like to mention here that um, when you are looking at uh, ECF, right, uh, for fundraising, typically companies will look at ECF for growth and expansion funds, right? Um, now, uh, rather than for working capital specific to project financing or short-term working capital. So if you're looking for short-term financing uh, or project financing, uh, the more uh, appropriate uh, channel would be for P2P or uh, maybe factoring uh, or invoice financing. Yeah, uh, and the process for P2P uh, is actually faster. Uh, for P2P, uh, your approval could be uh, as fast as a couple of days or uh, maximum maybe a week. Uh, for uh, equity crowdfunding, uh, it will take a little bit more time. Uh, but for Ataplus specifically, we take five working days to process an application subject to completeness of documentation information. Um, our application uh, process used to be 15 working days, but in view of COVID, we've looked at streamlining everything. And for us, it's quite easy because uh, everything is online uh, and um, we are, I would say, almost 100% uh, digital uh, in operation for that, need, for that matter. So we've um, compressed our 15 working days processing uh, now to five working days. And it will take us uh, any time between two weeks to four weeks to work with the individual companies to prepare for the co uh, content for the fundraising campaign. And the fundraising campaign uh, can be anywhere between uh, one month to three months, depending on the company themselves. But obviously, the uh, individual issuers would have to work very hard to uh, raise the funds and not only leave it to the platform uh, to fundraise. So this is um, a myth, I think, that um, some a lot of companies used to think that okay, I'll 
uh, list my campaign on the platform, suddenly the money just appear from the sky. It doesn't happen that way. So there's a lot of work, uh, marketing and promotion, a lot of um, you know engagement with um, the the market, but uh, and uh, investors and. Uh, Although uh, we feel that retail may uh, retail investors may hold on to their wallets quite a bit more uh, nowadays, but there is still a lot of interest from sophisticated investors and angel investors. And um, online pitching sessions are more popular now uh, compared to I would say offline uh, physical face to face face pitching sessions. So I've seen uh, pitching sessions uh, whereby there's. Uh, 60 to uh, 100 investors that come in uh, to a, a virtual pitching sessions, which is, I would say, the new norm now. Yeah. Uh, just a little bit about our company. So we are one of the first companies that was uh, awarded uh, the, the registration from the Securities Commission. Uh, and this is our team. Uh, our chairman is uh, Tanshi Samad Alias. Uh, he was uh, one of the co-founders of uh, Arthur Anderson uh, in Malaysia. A uh, very uh, well uh, known, um, prominent corporate figure um, in the industry, uh, having held uh, quite a number of chairmanships uh, in GLCs, um, as well as uh, he was a uh, uh, past president of uh, the Institute of Charter Accountants uh, in Malaysia. And then I have two my my other two co-founders, uh, Kiri Andreo and uh, Ami Aizal. So all of us covers uh, different different uh, areas in corporate finance. Um, operations as well as um, marketing, branding and communications. Uh, this is our platform. Do take a look uh, at www.ata-plus.com. Uh, and if you'd like to get in touch with me, uh, my email address is there uh, or you can uh, text me uh, and um, be very, very happy to engage with uh, any of you. Yeah. Any questions? Thank you, Elaine. Thank you, Elaine. Uh, thank, you. thank you so much, Elaine. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, uh, you know some of the insights into peer-to-peer -peer, uh, crowdfunding, plus some of the work that your company does. And I'm 